Yo, what's up? It's been a while, hasn't it? Or has it? I haven't really been keeping track. I've missed your eyes, so look at me, because I'm back. What I'm going to do here is maybe uh, make a video about things that annoy me. I know it's not very positive. For the most part, I'm pretty positive, so I get why that might not be so positive. I've discovered that like a lot of the best videos on YouTube are people yelling and complaining about things, and I notice that that's particularly hard for me because I don't swear. Not that I'm gonna swear, but I just I thought I'd share that with you. So in my own positive, happy, unicorn, rainbow way, I'm going to complain about things. I hope you enjoy it. A few things annoy me, and I'm 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 just I'm just putting it out there into the universe and setting these vibes out into the universe, just so people you know, can relate and be like, you know what, oh my, that also annoys me, and then we can be like, bro, that annoys me too, and we can be friends, right? It's all about making friends. Number one, lower stomach fat. I don't understand why I have it or why anyone has to have it and why it's there. Why can't it just be proportionate? Why does the lower stomach fat have to be the hardest to get rid of? Like, I could do Abipur every day for the rest of my life, and this little this little McChicken I have right here, it's, it's not going to go anywhere. It's going to stay right there. And so I've decided I'm going to listen to Cosmo and, like, conform and lose weight, and uh, the first thing I'm going to do is actually I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop drinking pop and eating junk food because I, I, I'm, I need to lose weight and be perfect. Another thing, it doesn't really annoy me, well, it kind of annoys me, but I more so think it's cute. Um, I understand that all Desi people have learned two words, one of them being Depot, which I've already discussed, but I've noticed the other is Google. I think that Desi people, in particular brown parents, think that Google is this almighty god-like, not even thing, person. I think they believe Google is a person, like there's someone named Mr. Google. Ah, uh, Lily, Jake, I'm um, Google, Google, no poch. Google no poch. Yo, Google, um, my parents want to know if, um, what, what do you think Google is? Like, anything that happens, like, Lily, Lily, my uncle told me, go to Google no poch. Google no poch. It's really cool, isn't it? Yeah. You, I, we can all do this, actually. I know it's not like a special talent I have. Just click it. Yeah. <laughs> People that have to outdo you in everything. Like, I understand if it's like academics or a competition or a sport, but there's some things that don't even make sense to outdo people in. Like, it just makes no sense. Like, I'll be like to a friend, you know what? I kind of don't feel good and I have a bit of a headache. I don't know. Oh my god, honestly, I don't feel good either. Like, I feel like throwing up, and nausea, diarrhea, like cold sore, hiccups. Like, I can't even talk right now. I think I'm. I think I'm gonna die. I, I gotta go. I think I'm gonna start. Oh my god, I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten anything all day. Okay, I haven't eaten for like three days. I'm so hungry. I don't even remember the last time I ate. I think I had like this much rice on Wednesday or something. I don't even know. Uh, I know we gotta study. My BB's in the hospital, but you know what? Let's just let's just get to work. What? How am I gonna study now that your BB's in the hospital? BB's... <laughs> BB's don't deserve that, okay? You know what? I just... I just need a moment to be alone. I'm sorry. What are you trying to do? Why do you need to be more sick than me? More upset than me? Happier than me? What? You don't make sense. You don't have to turn everything into a competition. Beat that. You know, you're doing something, you're carrying lots of stuff, just hopping out of the shower, you know, just... Whatever you do. Excuse me. I'm so attractive. You're doing something and your phone rings, but you cannot attend to the phone. So literally, said so the phone was ringing and you're just like, oh, oh, I'm doing something, I can't answer it. Oh, you just missed it. So right away, you press call and you call the person back and they don't answer. So you hang up and you're like, okay, you call the person back and they don't answer. Where did you go in that 1.8 seconds that it took me to see your call be like all oh, fiddlesticks and call you back where did you go did you d discourage and just throw your phone in the sewer and run away like why are you not answering my call now that makes no sense it happens to me all the time why why do you do that 
It's like, oh, you know what? Oh, you know what? <laughs> After, like, what? Where'd you go? Where'd my phone go? <gasps> I found it. What else annoys me? Um, not much. See, oh, I know what annoys me. When people stay at my house, which I don't mind because I love people and they can stay at my house and we can have a party. You know? But like, I kind of have a thing for messy washrooms, I'm not going to lie. Sure, my washroom is very messy. Like my stuff is everywhere, makeup is everywhere, clothes are everywhere. But I cannot stand when people turn my washroom into Wild Water Kingdom. Like I can't stand water on the counter on the floor. Like I don't understand. How do you wash your face where there's that much water everywhere? Like water dripping from the ceiling on the mirror. Like what do you do? What are you a walrus? Like, uh, 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 like is that a seal? Whatever. What what do you do? Like wh how do you wash your face? Uh, it's very simple. You don't actually have to do the clean and clear commercial and be like. You don't need to do that. Please do not do that in my washroom. It irritates the bejeebies out of me. It's ah. If you want to ignore people, by all means, ignore the crap out of them. I don't care. Don't message them back, whatever. But if you're going to invest in BBM, where they can see if you read their message, don't ignore them. That's like the ultimate disrespect. I can't stand being ard when I message someone and they check it and it says they received it and they ard me. That's not cool. That's very annoying. If anything, just pretend like you were busy and don't open the message like every other normal person. It's just like, oh, hey, how you doing? Like, I know you said it to me, but... How could I make an R? Wait. Hmm. R, R. This would be a P. P? With like a... How would I... Is that an R? R. You R'd me. You R'd me. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start answering some of my form spring questions and replying to all those messages that you guys send me. I know, once again, I've been mad at MIA, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do right now. I'm going to do right now. Right now, I'm going to go right now and do it. And I'm going to reply and message and do all that good stuff, I promise. Because you know what? Because, baby, you're the best. You're the best I ever had. All right, then. Mm. I love you guys. Bye.